We can use estimation to help us find the product of a decimal and a whole number. So we're going to uh, look at an example of that right now. We have 492 hundredths times 2. And we're going to we're going to use estimation to find the product. 492 hundredths we know is approximately 5 times 2. And if we multiply these two numbers, we get a product of 10. So we're going to look at our example problem and we're going to multiply 492 hundredths times 2 and we get 984. Well that certainly seems large compared to our estimate. So we're going to decide where should we place our decimal point to get us uh, close to the estimate that we, we came up with. Well we know putting our decimal point to the right of 4 is too large. What about between 8 and 4? Well we would have 98 and 4 tenths and that still seems kind of large compared to our estimate. But if we place our decimal point between the 9 and the 8, we get 9 and 84 hundredths, which is very close to our estimate of 10. So we can tell that this product is very reasonable. I want you to also notice that in our problem, we have two numbers to the right of our decimal point. In our product, we also have two numbers to the right of our decimal point. So let's see if that observation will help us as we continue uh, to look at multiplying decimals and whole numbers. So we're going to look at another example, which is going to be uh, 2 and 7 tenths times 6. 2 and 7 tenths, thinking about estimation, we know 2 and 7 tenths is approximately 3 times 6, which gets us a product of 18. So let's multiply 2 and 7 tenths times 6. 7 times 6 is 42. Carry our 4. 2 times 6 is 12 plus the 4 is 16. Now using estimation, we know that 162 is too large and we also know, but we also know that 16 and 2 tenths is a very reasonable product compared to our estimate. But we can also observe that when we have, we had one digit to the right of our decimal point, we also have one digit to the right of our decimal point in our product. So let's take a look at yet another example. Let's look at the problem of two times 12 thousandths. Well 12 thousandths is really small and it's kind of hard for us to estimate with that but we can use addition to help us find the um, the product. So let's go ahead and add 12 thousandths plus 12 thousandths and when we do that we get 24 thousandths. So let's, we're going to multiply 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 1 is 2, and then we have our zeros. Again, we know that our, our product is going to be 24 thousandths from our addition, but we can also use our rule that we noticed that when we have three numbers to the right of our decimal point in our multiplication problem. We need to also have three numbers to the right of our decimal point in our product. So to multiply a decimal and a whole number, you can use estimation to help you place the decimal point, but you can also use the rule of counting the decimal, the numbers to the right of the decimal point and making sure you have the same number of digits to the right of the decimal point in your product.